at southeastern Halifax County. That includes Lawrence, also into Edgecombe County. The this is from Raleigh, probably a key. It lasts about 30 to 35 miles per hour. It does have a history of that irritation. Uh, there are storms in this area that have uh, observed one in five by three weather spotters one earlier in the evening. Not this particular storm, but it is showing the evidence that all of these storms have the capability of producing those tornadic types of rotation. So as we are with you right now, this uh, near Oak City, Congo, in your safe area, please, right now, stop and make sure you're in your safe area. We want to keep you uh, in the lowest level of your home, away from windows, center of your home. Put as many walls between yourself and the outside. That is the best way to protect yourself. Also, worth mentioning something that I've really, really uh, adopted as a very important and very, very, very uh, life-saving measure. Making sure that you can keep yourself protected. If you have a quilt, if you have a blanket, also if you have easy access to any type of helmet. The kids, if they had baseball helmets, if they had bicycle helmets, it's a good idea to go ahead and have them put those on because obviously protecting your head is a huge uh, importance. So make sure you're doing that right now in this portion of eastern North Carolina as this storm makes its way off to the northwest. So if you're in the hot good area, Scott and I, anywhere around southeastern portions of Halifax, County. Uh, this storm is a dangerous one located uh, leading to the uh, and then the North West tornado warning is coming out. Uh, so we have four active tornado warnings now. In fact, this one's going to be here. Five in Washington County. So be in a safe place. Conjure, Polandy. Really uh, Newport this uh, issue. We're talking about up to Highway 64. Uh, crossing the, uh, the, the western side What's of the Belt. It's going to be out towards Roper. And uh, it looks like it's going to be just outside of Creswell. But for our friends who live out in uh, the northwestern portions of uh, Hyde County uh, and also up into Washington County. New tornado warning. That one's going to go until, uh, let's see here, that one's going to go until 945 right now. Uh, moving northeast, northwest at 35 miles per hour. So currently, right now, let's zoom out. We have four active tornado warnings right now. One, Nash, Edgecombe, and Wilson. Uh, we've been uh, talking about uh, crossing the I-95 corridor. We'll go back over there real quick. If that one goes until 9.15, so another 15 minutes on this one. Would not be surprised if it's extended a little further, uh, but uh, let's check on the radar presentation uh, to see if that is warranted uh, to be able to do that here in the next uh, couple of minutes. And the radar presentation, it looks like it's starting to fall apart, so that's good news in that category. We'll look at another, uh, another thing here, but it uh, still looks like there's a little bit of rotation, so I would say for our friends who live in Sharpsburg back over towards Elm City, we stay in a safe place. Sandy Cross, crossing I-95 during the next couple of minutes. Just hold off for a couple more minutes with the warnings up at 9.15. So just a few more minutes, and that warning's up. But uh, heavy rainfall associated with that storm as it's pulling Don't worry, I'll put the text. Uh, Sharpsburg back down into I'll put the warning uh, Wilson County in the description. and Nash County as well. And uh, new advisory just coming down from the National Hurricane Center. We now have a Category 2 hurricane. That is the latest uh, update coming from the National Hurricane Center. Let's actually pull that up in uh, a kind of two now. Yeah, great breaking news now. Uh, the hurricane Arthur now a category two hurricane as forecast. So that is indeed the case. We are going to now pull up the now. It has hundred mile an hour winds now. Our, uh, our system here from the uh, forecast center. I want to uh, zoom in a little bit tighter on it. And as we do that, zoom in a little, in a little tighter for you. Here is the very latest on now category two hurricane Arthur. Winds are now at one hundred miles per hour, Patrick, and the storm is moving to the north-northeast at 15 miles per hour, and uh, I'm going uh, to drive the uh, Viper for you, Patrick. We, 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 we don't want to abandon anyone. We're going to keep you updated. Go back to the Viper, and uh, what we're going to do in just a moment is show you where that eye wall is, but right now, life-saving information for these tornado warnings. Patrick, let me take you on a tour for our viewers. You tell me where we're going. We're going to go all across the east and then show you where the center of the storm is in just a moment. Let's go over to the uh, high County store, okay, and because uh, we, we have it zoomed in on that, but again, we have we have uh, multiple tornado warnings in effect here across eastern North Carolina. Ponds are being a safe place now. Uh, also, for Hoop Hole Landing coming up on uh, Highway 45, go ahead and move to your tornado shelter now. 
interior room away from windows, lowest floor of your home. Here's Fairfield, that's Lake Madam Mesquite down there. Uh, this is going to be outside of your area, but the storm that we are at, uh, concerned right now is going to be this way. Let's switch over to the Oklahoma City uh, radar site, and that's probably what we're going to uh, uh, see the best vantage point. Again, that's your storm right there. Here, uh, looks like it's going to be coming up uh, Highway 45, Ponser to Hoop Hole Landing, back up towards you. Uh, almost to Plymouth. Plymouth is not technically inside that warming roper. You are inside the door. So go ahead and move to a tornado shelter now. Interior room, away from windows, lowest word recovery. This is Lake Phelps right through here. That's going to continue up towards the north of the Cherry community. Go ahead and move to a safe place as well. Uh, close call for Governor size. Pat McCoy uh, is addressing the Columbia's residents of North Carolina right now since this is uh, recently upgraded. This is primarily from Washington and also down into uh, Hyde County. The tornado one that's going to go until 945. That gives Roper, Ponser, who pull land here for the next couple of minutes. Uh, next uh, stop, we will make it back up into uh, Halifax, Edgecombe County. That one goes until I think 930. Uh, so the uh, the original tornado warning that we were watching uh, for uh, Oak City, you need to stay in a safe place as we still have a tornado warning active for Martin County. This is not good Williamson. This is primarily for Oak City. It's in the northwest of there. Uh, 